Dohi Hall and welcome to the virtual tour on Instagram. And so we're standing outside in the nice sun and right here you can see we have hammock posts. So if you wanna just chill and just lay out in the sun, there's hammock posts right here. And the far back is Pumfret Hall and that's where you have the dining hall too. So if you need to grab breakfast, lunch, or dinner, you just walk straight to those doors up the stairs and you'll be in the dining hall. And another thing out here we have is the bike rack. So if you just wanna have your bike on campus, this is a nice place to park it. And yeah, we're gonna go inside. No, <laughs> I, I cannot be riding a bike around campus. I'm going to get hit or something. I don't know. <laughs> you walk there, Steven? Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. and I just got a car recently, so that would be good too for down the hill. But there's also scooters. If you don't have a uh, other vehicle, you can just rent the VO scooters, and that's another nice necessity. And so I think we're going to go inside and meet the CRE for Dohi. But first, I want to have a good mention to my videographer, Emily. Say hi. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> I'm Emily, um, and I'm the videographer. You're our marketing intern. Yes, yes. I am our marketing intern. And I just want to ask, uh, where's everyone tuning in from tonight or today? Um, yeah, so you want to head into a Dohi? And I think you were mentioning these just a moment ago. Yeah, the VO scooters. Have you ridden one yet? Yes, I actually have rode some on the... Tell me, tell me your experience. I rode it on the first couple weeks of school. It was under peer pressure. <laughs> and we were going around Union Mall just trying it out. And then we hit the streets. And it's not for me. It's a little too fast. But I see a lot of people riding it, and they really enjoy it. A lot of people are saying where they're from. Amanda's from Houston. G. Sarge is from Oklahoma City. Shelby's from Frisco. Morgan's from Houston, Frisco. Shiki is from Colorado. So we have to nice. <laughs> Thank you. And so whenever you come in, you have to fog in. It'll look like this. And so only you will have access if you have your keys for the building. something out to play games or to have baking equipment you'll come to the desk and right here we have our mailboxes and this is the boxes for the A and B residents so they're all come here and then you'll come to your box you'll put in your passcode and I'm pretty sure if you go to the housing portal and you go to details it will have the exact box and you even have the mailing address so that's good yeah, we're, we're releasing this now okay uh, very soon we'll get in your yeah, yeah. Diana, Diane asked, when are we getting our fob? You will get your fob and move in. Mm -hmm. <laughs> we have some extra guests coming. <laughs> but we're going to... We're going to keep it all moving. And right here is the printing center. And you'll have the computer you just use your... You are ID and password, and then you'll just come in and you can print from right here. And that's really nice. We're gonna keep it moving. Right here is the laundry area, and there's one in each building. So in A building, it's right here by the elevator. And you don't have to have any money or any coins to use the machine. You just come in here, put your laundry in, put the detergent, and then that, that's, that's it. Right, and we have uh, an app called Laundry Alert mm -hmm. that they can use to, to know when it's busy or when it's not busy, so you don't have to come down here and like check it and be like, oh, it's all cool. Yeah, and it's good to like get your clothes on time because you know be courteous to others to, so you can have the other machines open, so that's always a good thing to do. Mm -hmm. And so we're going to go upstairs. Any other comments coming in? No, no okay. Right well, we're glad you're tuning in. Yeah, let's go ahead and go ahead upstairs and if we can meet. So this is a stairway. <laughs> we do have elevators, just yes. so you're aware, we do. But we're only going up one floor, so uh, So this is what a typical like lounge area will look like. Mm -hmm. And we have a 
guest here to talk about. Yeah, please, do you mind introducing yourself? Oh, hello. Hi, everyone. Uh, my name is Brian Holland, and I'm the faculty in residence here at Adohi Hall. So what that means is that I'm, in addition to living here with all of you in the dorm, I have an apartment uh, at the end of this hall, uh, the north end of the building, um, that I share with my wife, Janet. And she also works for the university. She works at the University of Arkansas Press. Um, but so we, we, live, we live here full time. So we're a part of this community and we're your neighbors and we wanna be a resource for you. So um, what I also do is I'm a, an assistant professor of architecture in the Faye Jones School here on campus. So that's kind of my day job, but otherwise I'm here as part of your community. So um, what that means also is that I will be working with Janet and um, Maddie and the housing staff to develop programming throughout the year for you and the benefit of this community, you are neighbors, um, to just enrich the life of Adohi and also Pomfret, which is right next door. Um, so look out for information at the beginning of the year about those kinds of programs. Um, just to give you a bit of an example, we, we did a number of events last year that we'll wanna continue, which we were calling our faculty and residents stoop events. We have a, an outdoor entrance with a series of steps. And so we like to set up tables and have treats, sometimes food, sometimes uh, giveaway items, and just kind of create an opportunity for residents to kind of gather with us and just uh, talk about how things are going with your semester, what life is like living here in the dorms, and things like that. Um, we also did programs that uh, involved uh, yoga, that was in collaboration with the um, Wellness Center. So we hope to do those again. So the variety of programs throughout the year that we hope you'll take advantage of. But aside from those formal programs, what I would encourage you to, to do is just to, now you know who I am, well, introduce myself again at the beginning of the year when we really meet, but uh, to sort of just look for us around the building and around the, the wonderful landscape here at Adohi and just say hi and really encourage you to kind of reach out and uh, use me as a resource. Because the thing that I think I, I hope I can offer to you as a faculty member who lives in this community is that I can speak to you about your experience kind of in the classroom or with academic things with the experience of someone who is a faculty member but who's not your teacher. Like I'm not grading you on any papers so there shouldn't be any stress about that, right? So if you are having trouble or you want to know how you can best um, take advantage of building relationships with your, your faculty, with your teachers, then I hope I can help you with that because I think that'll be a huge benefit for you uh, during your college experience. So, so try to take advantage of that as best you can, um, what college has to offer. So I'm here to help you do that. And there's uh, living learning communities here in this hall. And yes, you indeed. You're, you're obviously involved with the, um, the architectural one to some degree. Or I'm, I'm not actually school. directly involved with the architecture mm -hmm. living learning community, but being an architecture professor, I of <laughs> course usually know what's going on. And I certainly, one of my good colleagues, Allison runs that LLC. Um, so, but as you probably know, there are five other mm -hmm. LLCs yeah. here as well. So um, that's all just kind of part of what's really exciting about this community here at Adohi. So. So Did yeah. you want to uh, point out your the front of your your door there, so we'll know where where you live? Oh, you sure. Well, <laughs> we're down the hall right uh -huh. now. The only door I think that has uh, fun little things that have been posted last year. So, but um, typically I would say you know you can find us around. Um, I'll make my email available to everybody at the beginning of the year, um, and. Uh, You'll, it'll be easier to see us on the from the outside because we have these enormous windows. <laughs> so, so when we have the shades up, feel free to wave as you walk as you walk by. So, I look forward to seeing you all in the fall. So thanks good luck with the rest of your tour. Yeah, thanks for visiting. And did we get a chance to meet uh, Maddie? I don't think we've got a chance. To yeah, meet you. Um, we just had a quick little blip there. Um, <laughs> my name is Maddie. Uh, you she her hers pronouns. I am your Siri of the building. So basically what I do is I also live in the hall. So I am also a member of your community, but I supervise and help the resident assistants that are on your floors, give you wonderful programming opportunities and events. Um, we coordinate um, the safety and security of our hall, a bunch of things like that. But I am also here as a resource for any support and connecting you to offices across campus. 
or just kind of being a great like little vent session or if you just want to talk to someone um, that is at the university that can maybe help you in some sort of fashion, I am here as a resource for you as well. Um, we here in Adohi, we mentioned it a couple times, we have living and learning community. So we said architecture is one, we have our art community, we have our music LLC, we also have um, our theater LLC that is in our hall as well. And we're really excited to have you all, but we also have a bunch of other uh, students that we typically have here. Many of them can be Greek affiliated commonly throughout the year. So we're just excited to see you this year, so. All right, well, where are we going next? We are going to the B building. The cabin, don't the, Oh, actually the cabin, that's yeah. quicker. That sounds cool. So, <laughs> yeah. More air conditioned. Yes. <laughs> Seems like we have a number of people tuning in, so we're happy to see that. And don't hesitate to ask us any questions. Well, yes, before we head over to the cabin, I wanted to mention that adobe means woods in Cherokee. And what's special about this building is that we honor the Cherokees who, you know, traveled on the Trail of Tears, and there is a, a post like 1,500 feet away south from the residential house, and it's just like a marker to show that, you know, they traveled here, we know how much they went through, and we like, respect them. So that's another thing I want to mention, and if you want to learn anything more about the Trail of Tears and the Cherokee, just go to Cherokee.org, and there will be more information about that. Mm -hmm. so let's head over to the cabin. Can you guys tell us a little bit about your academic sort of experience here at the university? What yes. Did you study? So I am a sophomore and I am studying art education, K 12, and I'm minoring in small business and entrepreneurship, and I'm really excited about that. And so I get to do a concentration in painting for the fall, and I'm so excited to be in the studio and get to painting. difficulty. <laughs> okay. But yes, this is the cabin area. You can see we have multiple TVs in like seating area and we also have a pool table. Not like a swimming pool, but a pool table. <laughs> and a tennis table. And so like I was saying earlier, you go to the front desk and check out materials so you can be able to play and game in here. And I know a couple of my friends, we hooked up our Nintendo Switch to the TV. We had a Mario Smash Bros. competition. So that's a really fun thing we can do. It's a big TV for it, too. Very big. <laughs> yeah. And I just really love, like, the woods and the aesthetic of this building. It's so natural. So we use a lot of what's called cross-laminated timber in the construction. And it has the strength of, like, basically steel, but you can grow it in the ground, so it's much more sustainable than that. And then back here we have a nice kitchen. I don't know if we're gonna show it because, yeah. oh, we can show it? I'm sure show it. <laughs> I don't know, it seems like it's being used in a good way. Yeah, it's being used in a good way. So we have two ovens, two microwaves, two fridges, and this is like a nice place to, you know, cook, have baking competitions, and I know the community center, they have classes that you can take so you can learn how to cook and you can rent out baking equipment because I know like in a dorm you have a smaller space you want to carry all this stuff so you can just check out some baking equipment and cooking equipment and just have fun in the kitchen mm -hmm. and there's also going to be an eating area like outside the tables will be set up in the fall and that's another fun thing to soak up the rays you know put the breeze in your face and eat your food this is where most of your events are going to be for Adohi. So they're all going to be hosted here in the cabin. We'll, like Michelle mentioned, we'll have cooking classes here weekly in this area as well. So you can kind of learn from our experts in turtles. So. Was there a sushi making class at one point too? Yeah, we did yeah. have that one. Um, we have creative community assistance that um, at one point they said, 
homemade popcorn, chocolate covered popcorn was one right before we did an outdoor movie right out here. Um, and a bunch of other really quick recipes that you can make here in the hall. It's nothing too fancy that you need specific equipment for, but everything that you learn to make, you can make here. Okay, thank you. <laughs> so we're going to head over to the B building now. We'll put it, there's a fireplace and lounge on the other side of the cabin. That is quite nice as well. So, nice little fireplace. It is an actual fireplace. Yes. Yeah. Gas fire. Oh, that's right. Electric fire. Okay. And right here we have the Bud Walton Arena, and that's like the basketball arena. And you and Joe, residents are so lucky because it's right there. You don't have to walk down the hill to get to the games. And then when it's over, you can just come back. And it's just like a nice area, and you're going to be really lucky. building we have the residential areas and also the community center. second laundry room that I was talking about earlier so in B building this is where your laundry will be at again you don't have to pay it's just right here for your use. Mm -hmm. I think we're going to check out the administration. Yes we are. Mm -hmm. I love this view here. Yes. Walk down. creative community space. I am not technically the person that is the coordinator over it, um, but you will be talking with Mary Peacock. She's our creative community coordinator. She's really awesome to work with, but she has everything here, so I can answer a bunch of your questions, but if you have more, you can always email peacock at uark.edu. So we'll just kind of go right on through here. This right now is in our performance area. We do plays in this area if you would like. We do, um, sometimes we'll do Krav Maga if it's too much for our movement studio, which we'll get to see in a sec. And then this hallway right here, we have acoustic rooms. We'll have a piano here for a practice room. All of these acoustic walls um, will adjust to the acoustic nature you need. So if you need to practice using an outdoor amphitheater, you can do it. If you need to do an orchestral hall or opera house, you can do it. It's amazing here. All you have to do is reserve a space and you can get that from our website. I believe it's housing.uark.edu forward slash halls forward slash creative community and it's got all the information on how to reserve the room, what we have available for more information. There's a big cement block there. Um, so as we kind of come through here, these are all the practice rooms we have available, and then we will just turn down this area and we'll show you some of our seminar rooms. We do have a green room here where you can reserve it. We have a portable green room screen in here that you can utilize. Basically, if you want to report the weather or do kind of other things, you can use that green screen for any kind of recording. It's not necessarily a green room where you would wait for a theater production or play. But that's what we have there for you as well. So if you want to be a, a, new, a weather man or a weather woman or a weather person, yes. that's a place to practice. I joke because we used to have a CRE who was a weather had a background in meteorology. Yes. All the series have differing interests that are really amazing as well. Um, here we have a seminar room. If you have a class down here, this is where these classes will be. We will also host different classes from our creative community assistants or uh, other events using these rooms. They can use, you can also reserve these for study areas as well. Um, again, you'll have to reserve that through our website. It is use free it. to use everything in this space. And you know what? It's open to every residence hall student on campus. So if you are living in our halls, reserve that space, learn how to use our equipment, and use the equipment for your projects, your uh, initiatives, everything that you want. Speaking of which, most hall, all halls, you cannot spray paint in them. 
uh, but you can in this spray boot. So um, this is a great location if you have spray art that you need to do. Uh, it has a ventilation system to kind of get it up and out of the hall. So it's a really nice safe way, especially for anything that you're using that is, um, I guess, air toxic or something that you don't want to breathe in. semester here. Uh, they said that this one really represents identity, so it's up to the eye of the beholder uh, who looks at it to kind of resemble who you are as a person with brightness of colors as well as interesting kind of artworks. So. I like blueberries. I like blueberries. The strawberries are really cute too. Yeah, so. they are. Yeah. Do you have a favorite food? Uh, it would either be pomegranate or honeydew melon. I know honeydew melon is like a controversial topic, um, but for some reason it's good. you can make a lot of things in this space. Uh, so we have anything from 3D printers to laser cutters, soldering irons, sewing machines. We have the mannequins for sewing machines to tailor the clothing you are trying. We also have a bunch of supplies for painting um, and other sketches and drawing uh, or the plastics you need for a 3D printer. Again, you just have to reserve a time to learn how to use the equipment and then you can use it all year round and then just reserve your time to use that equipment whenever you need. You, and you don't have to be an architecture major, art major, or anyone. You can just use it if you have a project that you want to do. If you're into D&D, &D, um, you can make your miniatures with a 3D printer. Uh, you can do some painting here. We have it all set up for that, so you can kind of accommodate to your interests. And kind of close to last, we do have a recording studio. This is used by our music majors a lot, but it's also used for anyone who has like a musical kick to them. We have people who record albums in this studio. We've had a podcast our first year that we were open that they were to record right in here. And adjacent to this room, if you look through kind of like this glass area, that's the producer booth. So you can do mixing with the board. Uh, you just gotta get trained on it and kind of create the mixes that you need to based on what you wanna record. Amazing things. Yes. Out of all of you. Creative, amazing things. I want to find it all on SoundCloud. Yes. <laughs> so. I'll listen to your demo. secondary education, but I decided I like to work with colleges a little bit more and got my graduate degree in college student affair, college student personnel, um, and so that was amazing uh, to kind of specialize and work with the students. So. That, stair, that staircase is so great. Mm -hmm. uh, and there's actually performances here. Mm -hmm. um, various different events that can help. And there's a mirror on the outside you can see the walk. Uh, there's a staircase as well. Mm -hmm. The stairwell, stairwell here was used from leftover cross-laminated timber in the building process, and so they just repurposed it in a sustainable effect to create these stair steps for our seating area. Well, what do you think, Michelle? You want to take us up to a resident room? Want to see what's up there? Yeah, let's do it. We're gonna head up these beautiful stairs. weeks ago they had a play like some students they had a play down here and then you had the audience like sitting on the benches and it was just a nice production fair warning is we get in the elevator you may lose uh, 
So connectivity, but we'll be right back, as they say, after these messages. So we can assume some of the people tuning in are staying in a dohi. Uh, any room numbers that you want to toss out or anything you, you're excited about when it comes to living in a dohi? It is a crazy cool hall. Okay, so down this hall we have the pod styles. And I'm going to show you what that looks like real quick. We're going to start with the Sumi Suites. Scratch that. No. We're going to look at the Sumi Suites. <laughs> no, we do have the kitchen too. We want to point that out. Yes. And so this is the lobby area again. And here's the little kitchenette that they have on not all the floors, but most of them. And there's a microwave in there, an oven. And in case you don't want to have to go all the way down to the cabin, you can just come here easily and make some ramen noodles. Because <laughs> I know college students eat that a lot. <laughs> Cookies, ramen noodles. Yeah. What else is? Someone asked if I could show the room numbers as we walk by them. Sure. So here we're at B461. Going into B four one five. And so this is what a semi suite looks like. You have your mirror and some storage and some under storage. <laughs> and then you have a little closet space. And I know a lot of people they bring tension rods so they can like have like a curtain to separate it so you don't have to see your items. And right here we have the restroom. And so you just have you know the toilet some. Towel hangers. No, this one with a shower curtain already. And this is a little stand up shower. Very nice. Your little spot in there for your soaps. And right here, this is the main living area with the bedding. You'll have your desk and some storage. And this is what looks like open. These don't really have a lot, but it's still nice. Uh, someone asked, how big is the window? Mm -hmm. How big is the window? Here we are. We've got the tape measure. I would say that the best way to get to that is what? Should I roll this over? Two people, maybe? Yeah, yeah, we help. Right. I think if you can just find a surface yeah. here, then that should be a good enough. Well, they're asking for the width and the length of the window. OK, so it is 40, 54 inches wide. Mm -hmm. And do you think we can get it up and down maybe on that? Yeah, we can probably get it. Oh, sorry. <laughs> that maybe will help. There we go. Almost there. Oops. 66 and a half inches tall. And then someone else asked height and width of the shower curtain. Mm -hmm. Sixteenth inches for the width. And then we have another question, and it says, the width of the main door to hang an over-the-door mirror. Okay. I got some good questions. Let's see what we're going to hold it. Thirty inches. There's one measurement from the end of the bed to the wall, please. So from right here. Yeah. 
Oh, I think they mean uh, from there to that. Oh, okay. 64 and 1 8 inches. All right. Well, for now, that's all the questions we have, so we can carry on and let's. Oh, we got another one. <laughs> okay. The height of the closet. Okay. Ninety-one inches. Uh, someone wants to know the depth of the door. The depth of the door. I don't quite. Thinking know. depth of the door. Maybe depth of the. Let's get the depth of this. Yeah, we're going to start. Do the depth of the closet. Please clarify if uh, you want something else. So for the closet, it's twenty-one and three-fourths inches. Um, length from the from closet top of shelf to the ceiling. 27 inches. Is there a towel bar by the sink from Diane? By the sink? No. But you can like put a little command hook if you have to. Just make sure it doesn't rip mm -hmm. off the paint. And there are temp towel bars in the bathroom. And the shelving. There's a little bit of and shelving then. underneath there as well as those shelves there. Um, Annette asks, what's the measurement of the space below the bed if lifted to the max height? Okay. Um, so... Well, you can, yeah, so show them how the uh, how it's done since you have to flip this if okay. you want to block it. So if you look around right here, you can see like there are nooks. So if it's turned this way, it will come this high up. And then you see how it goes to the bottom. You can really flip this whole bedding area and you can have it go to the tallest hook. It's just all on mm -hmm. preference. Um, those exact measurements you'll find at movein.uark.edu under ready to arrive and then you'll see something that says about uh, lofting instructions and it'll tell you exactly how high this goes. It's somewhere around in the 70s, I think 70, 70 inches, somewhere in that vicinity, but I don't have that number in my head right here. Uh, do you want to head over to the, um, to the uh, pod? Yes, we can. Yeah, we'll show those common spaces and then the uh, bedroom. Uh, someone asked, does the mirror open for storage? No. No, it does not. It does not. Yeah. like it would. It does. Yeah. It gets me every time. <laughs> I'll, I'll mention it. Yeah. I had a parent try to open up the mirror from like the wall. I was like, <laughs> please don't rip it off. <laughs> <laughs> but yes, let's head down this way so we can see the pot. And so the floors are divided. So you have the cement suites down this way and then the it's down this way and they have to share a restroom with a couple of the residents on the floor. Um, Annette asks, do we place a ticket for lofting the beds? So in past you have to do it yourself and it's just like easy you just go down to the desk and you can just get a mallet and just hit it real quick it's easy to pop off but now I've heard that you could actually do a request on uart.fixit and I'll do that like two weeks before you get to campus so they'll have time to do it and you just put in your room number, which building, and which bed you want lofted, like A or B, and that should, that should do it. And typically, yeah, you can do that typically until the end of July. Um, this year should be the same as most years, but let's also show the a common space for the pods oh, yes. as well. Like the lounge and the bathroom. So this is a lounge area, and I, like, I think five of the residents can like share it, and there'll be another one down the end of the hall. And this is what the men's restroom looks like. You can go in the men's restroom, it's okay. Yes. <laughs> you go on in there, and there's no men's There's no one in here, so we're fine. <laughs> <laughs> but we'll have two toilets, and then two showers. And so I like these doors because it's like, it gives you more privacy than in traditional community restrooms. And so you like a little small gap. And it's, so you gotta know what a toilet looks like, so I'm not gonna open the door. But it's the <laughs> toilet behind the store. Yes, <laughs> and then here we have the shower space. And so you have like a little nook to put your stuff, shower curtain, and then shower head. This is a simple walk-in shower. Uh, someone asks, how many pod kids share a bathroom? Is it around four, uh, four rooms, so 10, maybe up to 10 students. Does it seem about right? Yeah. Great, thanks for showing us the uh, shower in there. We'll just dip out the shower. Mm -hmm. So really the sinks nice. are pretty nice too. Yeah, good lighting.
fighting for selfies if you like doing that. <laughs> well, you know the men's bathroom is going to be full of guys doing selfies. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely. Okay, now we can check out the pod room. It looks very similar to a semi-suite, except they don't have the restroom. And so this what it looks like. And the two beds and then the same drawers, desk. And the only difference is that you have like a little extra shelf right there. And it has good space underneath so you can put a little mini fridge. Mm -hmm. It's a nice little view outside. Any questions rolling in? No, not right now. Mm -hmm. Please comment your questions if you need any measurements or anything. And then here would be, uh, I've got to the television. And um, you, we have Cox on campus, which is an app basically that you can use and watch TV on your phone as long as you're on campus. And you have all the HBOs as well as several other different uh, uh, premium channels that are available to you. Oh, uh, the person who is wondering the depth of the main door to hang a mirror, I think they mean uh, how thick is the door. Okay, gotcha, gotcha. Okay, let's, uh, let's get that for you. I don't think it's going to measure because it might be like. I think you need like a, like a use the paper maybe. Okay. Or is it too short? Yeah. We're just getting from there. Oh, oh you're saying it's too long. Yeah. Too. Sure. Okay. It is. I'm gonna eyeball this. Yeah. <laughs> okay. It is about two and a half inches. All right. Somewhere right around there. Um, is there a desk in the closet? If you would, con this is kind of the closet. Mm -hmm. And there's a desk there. Yeah, it's just there just because, but you can rearrange the room for however you want, but you still have to keep the furniture in here, but you can just rearrange it. Um, Everything's movable. Yes. Noah asks, where do students typically put TVs? TVs. You can put it on the dresser, like right facing the TV. I know one of my good friends, she locked in her bed all the way to the top, and then she moved her desk underneath and had like a little game center underneath her bed, and it was like a cute little hang out, you know, we can play video games down there. And so it just depends on preference, but it's just, wherever there's an outlet, you can put the TV. And it's a great opportunity to talk to your roommate ahead of time about who's gonna bring the TV. Because a lot of times you don't need two TVs, because you'll be using your laptops anyway as televisions, so, or even your phones as televisions, so it's a good opportunity to, to talk with your roommate. Um, the width of the of desk with drawer unit next to it. The width desk with the drawer unit next to it. Yeah. Okay. Twelve inches. And then maybe that part two? The desk right. area? Yeah. The desk is twenty seven inches. Well, let's give them a couple minutes for a couple of last questions, but I think we're winding, winding up on our Adoki tour. Um, I'm gonna have to ask all for final thoughts. Like, what do you, what would, if you were, this was your first year again, what do you wish you knew that you don't know? Or you know now, but you didn't know that. Um, I was a heavy packer, so I tried to bring my whole bedroom to the drawer, and that is not really feasible, especially if you have a roommate. So I would just say to pack, you know, consciously and not to bring too much and for clothes just bring by the seasons you'll be going home at one point so don't try to bring everything at once I know that you're excited just to move on have your own space but I would just pack a little bit lighter and you'll like buy stuff when you're in Fayetteville so that's another thing was there any must-have item that you felt like you, yeah, that you used <laughs> over and over again when you got here so for the community restroom definitely have your shower shoes because you don't want to be having the same feet with other people like me to know that and that shower caddy. Mm -hmm. um, another thing I would say is bring your laptop, of course, because you're in school. <laughs> um, a mattress pad. Some people really love the mattresses, but you know, I'm a very sensitive sleeper, so I have to have a mattress pad, so that is a, a must have for me. And I guess some storage, items. not too much, but like, you know, for like the drawers, I have like small little to like separate different things so all wouldn't roll in the, the drawer. But just all depends on line preference. We've got a, a few questions coming in. Um, can I get a measurement from the edge of the bed to the wall? Shiki 
asks, how deep are the drawers in the dresser? We have 16 and 1 4 inch. All right. And uh, do you think those are the same? No, we can do this too. Exactly the same. All right. Um, width and length between beds for a rug. a week. I'd say last year it was an anomaly, but we cleaned them every day, I believe, twice a day, I think. Mm -hmm. They cleaned quite a bit because of, you know, the, the, the pandemic. This year I think we're a little more normal, which is at least a couple times a week. I don't know if you know a more precise it's, number. Yeah, it's still once a day. Once uh, a day. They start in the morning and they go through all the bathrooms. And I think each floor has, like, the cleaning schedule. Like, it will be posted, so you'll, like, know when the cleaning ladies or men will come and clean the restroom. Mm -hmm. um, as, as I recall, if they aren't clean and, like, it's a community issue, it gets raised pretty quickly, and it gets resolved pretty quickly. Mm -hmm. Annette asks, can we remove the desk chairs and then bring them back at the end of the school year? You have to keep everything inside the room. I know some people, they deconstruct it and, like, stash it under their bed or in the closet, but you have to keep all the furniture inside. We expect the room to look like it looked when you moved in. That's the rule. And then, what can be used to hang items on walls? So of course, no nails or thumbtacks, anything that will leave on the wall you cannot use. So I know a lot of people use the command strips and make sure whenever you use it, prep the wall nicely. So whenever you take it off within the year, none of the paint gets peeled off. Um, how big of a fridge can we bring? I think there's a size requirement on the move-in website. Mm -hmm, I believe there is. Mm -hmm. um, and I don't know what it is offhand, but you can certainly check. And it's the ready to arrive page on movein.uwork.edu. And it'll tell you sort of the maximum. For some reason, the word 30 inch cube comes to mind. Like 3.1 cubic feet? Something like yes, that. I feel like that's around that. Okay, okay. We were yeah. on the same numbers, I just didn't know the numbers. Right, <laughs> so, so that's that's just memory, yeah. please please go check. My fridge kind of looks like this height, mm -hmm. and then like this would be like the freezer part, and then I have like the regular fridge, and it would be like this big. So I guess this is a, as reference, but to be exactly sure, you know, check the website. Um, what is the height of the desk to the floor? Okay. So what's the height of the desk? I guess these are probably the same height, just so you're aware. We have 26 and a half inches. Um, Jenna asks, do they take their own trash out? Yes, yeah, so you'll have a trash chute at the end of the hall, and it'll be, whenever we walk out, we're, we're like, able to show you but you just push the button you know make sure you tie the bag and put it in like a garbage sack because you don't want to just like throw stuff down the the chute because it'll stink so put it in the bag tie it up and then throw it down the chute and there should be one on every single floor like in the lobby area uh, diane asks how do you attach a pretty headboard so i guess if you buy your mm -hmm. own custom headboards are, are something that some students use it's, it's not super common but i mean it's used every now and then uh, I couldn't get into the DIY of how to do it exactly, but you know if you can if you can make one and you can fit it around here, you're more than welcome to as long as you don't damage the furniture. Yeah, there's like a gap between like the mattress and the this thingy, so you can just like slide it behind there and push your mattress in it if push from the shove. Most ones that I see, they use zip ties, but. Please remove the zip ties when you remove the headboard, but zip ties get nice and secure, or if you already have hooks kind of like nicely built in, just make sure it doesn't scratch the frame. And then Bridget asks, can the desk and side drawer fit between the end of the bed frame and the closet wall? I, oh, I don't think. I don't think the desk, oftentimes the configuration that people like is to loft, loft their bed, put their desk underneath it. I see that a lot. And, uh, but no, these two items will not fit in the space right there. Mm -hmm. um, someone's wondering, how big is the fridge opening in the closet area? So. so 
Well, it's 19 and 7 16th inches wide. And then for the height, we are 40 inches tall. And then 19 and a half inches going towards the wall. Are we caught up on the questions? Yeah. Okay. Would you like to sign us off, Maddie, and, and say hello to all the incoming students? Oh, yeah. Do you want me to mention pick one? Or do you want oh, yeah, please. Okay. Yeah, 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 sorry. Do that. Do that. Yes. Um, so really quick, uh, you can go to pickone.uark.edu. It is a great way to get involved before you even step foot on this campus. So just go to that website and select which involvement opportunity you want to get involved. I am a little biased. I recommend RIC, our Residence Inner Hall Congress. That's our student organization on our hall campus um, that represents for resolutions and also other legislation items. But there are many other options. So if that's not right for you, there's a lot of them there. So check that out. Um, we're really excited to have you here. I'm in Adohi coming in in August. Um, Michelle and I as being hall staff, like getting to work with you, we're ready. Uh, so don't hesitate to reach out, um, email me, my email is on the website, um, or just continue to follow our Instagram for more updates and excitements. And what is the Instagram for Adohi Hall? Yeah, you are Kadohi, um, at you are Kadohi, <laughs> if you weren't sure, but. And we are getting a couple more questions. Okay. These will be our last questions, we'll take them. Um, Annette asks about, um, I think the other room, what's the measurement between the wall to the toilet seat? Okay. Um, we'll try to post that in the comments. Okay. And then someone asked, are there network jacks in the room or is it everything or is everything over Wi-Fi? There are. Uh, there are routers in various different places, I think, but not in every room. It's not consistent anymore. We've moved everything mostly to Wi-Fi. Um, does this room have a I think it, I router? think they all have one. Okay. It would probably go through here, but. Okay. So I know this is the cable box, but is it also a router? I don't think it's also a router. Usually it has like a blue tip only. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I don't see that here. So I would, you know, the Wi-Fi is pretty good. Mm -hmm. um, so, yeah. Any other questions? Mm -hmm. That's it. Yeah. Thanks for tuning in. Yeah, yeah. Thank, you. thank you all.